Look how tiny this mousetrap is. It's made out of metal and it has a really cool design. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna try to catch a mouse in the barn with an antique mousetrap that's very valuable. They cost over $500 each and they're known as the baited mousetrap. It was first patented by Stuart Brown on October 5th, 1937. And even though it's such a tiny mousetrap, it packs a powerful punch. It has two springs on back connected to a kill bar. These will slam down on the back of the mouse's neck. And to set it, there's a trigger in there connected to a latch with a wheel below it. You pull this up, it spins on the wheel. Ooh, it's kind of hard to set. You push it forward. Now it's ready to go. As soon as you touch the trigger, that wheel will spin and it'll come down. Ooh, it's got a lot of force. That kind of hurt. Now this mousetrap is called the baited mousetrap because originally it came with a removable bait tray in back. You can see that brownish yellow cheese in the back there. That's from 1937, so it's well aged, extra sharp. Originally it was mixed with paraffin wax, that's why it's still preserved. It was sitting in the back of the trap, but there was a screen there to keep the mouse from actually eating the bait. That way it would work at it, lift up the trigger, and get caught. So this would last for quite a few mice. Now it's such a tiny trap, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work well. Even for being so old, that trigger is sensitive and those springs are powerful. Now we're going to set up this tiny mouse trap in the barn to see if we can catch a mouse. I think it's going to work well. We'll even use the original bait to see if it still draws them in. But I don't want a rat or squirrel stealing my $500 trap. So I'm going to use our mouse trap box. We'll place it in the back here. That way only a mouse can fit. It'll go in the hole, take the bait, and get caught. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if the baited mouse trap from 1937 still works. Well, there's a good chance it may have been 80 years since a baited mouse trap actually caught a mouse. But last night we changed that. The trap worked perfectly. The mouse went in there, tried to get the bait, and got caught. It's such a great mouse trap design and it works well. I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste, so we're going to feed it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, it looked like the raccoon enjoyed the mouse we caught with the baited mouse trap. Now I have a huge mouse trap collection, over 1,500 different antique and vintage traps, and this is one of my favorite. I think because it's so small and well built. It's made out of sheet metal, and clearly it was built to last with high quality in mind. I especially like that it still has that old cheese right there. I'm going to clean it up and put it on the shelf to retire it, but I'm glad that it works so well. On this channel, I try to test out every mouse trap I can get my hands on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.